Morning, all. So, uh, let us discuss the New Jersey Devils. The New Jersey Devils, who are pretty well insulated when it comes to expansion now. These are, are players that uh, I think that, you know, Seattle's going to have a, a, a decent pick, I guess, depending on whether or not they want to discuss contracts with veterans. But on the New Jersey side of things, it's pretty easy to decide who to pick, or who to protect, I should say giving Seattle picks of what's left over. So Heischer, that's an automatic. You have to protect Heischer. Paul Mary, you have to protect. Uh, Janssen, they just picked him up from Toronto. Young forward, they're going to protect him. I think Woods gets Wood gets protected. Zaka. And I went with McLeod and Bratt because you're protecting seven forwards. And sure, what that leaves out there is Zajac. Now, Zajac's a UFA next year. I don't know if New Jersey's going to decide to keep him or not and what that's going to cost. Merkley, Sini, Kuokinen. Maybe you protect Kuokinen. Maybe you expose McLeod. Maybe you expose Wood. There's there's nothing major that's going to get lost by the Devils here. The blue line's where it gets interesting. So I protect Ryan Murray because I think he stays with the Devils. They, they traded for him. I think they keep him. Severson and Butcher obviously will get protected. What this means on the blue line is now Subban and his $9 million cap hit could potentially be exposed to Seattle. Now for Seattle, he's only got that cap hit for one year. That might be an attractive option for them, because again, they have to hit 60% of the cap, right? So it might be an attractive option to pick up Subban and say, all right, we're gonna take on this contract. And, and maybe you can squeeze a draft pick out of the Devils in order to do that. This would save the Devils that $9 million on the cap, and Subban could very well bounce back with Seattle. Now, it's possible Subban has a great year this year. Subban, I think, still would be the one left unprotected because Murray, Severson, and Butcher are on more reasonable cap hits and are less likely uh, to be passed over. Subban might be interesting. Now, there's Connor Carrick here as well and Kulikov, who just signed with New Jersey. It's possible, again, if Murray has another injury-riddled season, it's possible Murray ends up exposed and Kulikov ends up being protected. But again... For New Jersey, they don't really have to worry about losing a key piece. Most of their key pieces are either protected here or they're exempt. And in that, it's obviously going to be Mackenzie Blackwood. There is no debate here. It is Mackenzie Blackwood, which means that Corey Crawford is the goaltender who would be exposed. So Crawford, Subban, maybe Zajac. Again, veteran players, older players. And they're players that you can only lose one of. You can't lose them all. So for New Jersey, it'll be interesting to see who ends up being taken by Seattle. Um, and 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 honestly, Subban, again, for Seattle might be attractive because it's only one year at that $9 million cap hit. And then he's a UFA. And then that would free up the money for them going forward. So maybe you get New Jersey to throw in a draft pick. And you take Subban's cap hit off their hands. And then that makes it easier for them to pick up cheaper contracts from other teams and put together a younger team. So get to that 60% and still have enough money left over under the cap that they can go for it in free agency as well in 2021. I'm going to say the summer of 2021. I'm going to be optimistic and say that free agency will go back to a more normal time frame this coming summer. But it's going to be interesting. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. And hey, thank you guys so much for watching, for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.